Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about CFU or colony forming units, about dilutions and how to calculate concentration of the bacteria in milliliter of liquid. So here's a problem. You conduct a standard plate count where 100 microliters of each dilution is added to each petri plate. The petri plates diluted to 10 power minus 2 and 10 power minus 4 and 10 power minus 6 are loans and cannot be counted. The dilution 10 to the uh, power minus 8 diluted petri plate result in 211 colonies. Calculate the CFU and cells per milliliter of the original sample based on these results. First of all, what is a CFU? CFU is a colony forming units. So imagine that this is a petri dish and when we add a drop of water which contains bacteria, say this is going to be out of scale drop of water and we have here some bacteria present. And when we put this drop on the petri dish, we move this bacteria to the petri dish. And those each bacteria is too small to be um, counted, to be seen. Each bacteria through the process of propagation would form a colony that we would be able to see. And we would be able to count colonies. So we call this initial bacteria which form a colony, CFU, colony forming units. So now you can see and you can calculate how many actually bacteria we have here. Those you cannot see bacteria itself, but we can see how many colonies here. So we know that there are initially we were in a drop of water, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bacteria. But the problem here can be that in one drop of water, we can have billions and hundreds of billions of bacteria and we wouldn't be able to count them. So we have to go through the multiple dilutions in order to get such dilution that would give us readable and reliable number of CFU per petri dish. Usually it is between 30 and 300. Listen that this is not going to be reliable results. More than that, it would be very hard to count. According to our problem, dilution by 100 fold, so 100 fold, and dilution by 10 power minus 4 is 1 divided by 10,000, so 10,000 fold dilution, and even 10 power minus 6, this is 1 divided by million, so million fold dilution gave us loans and cannot be counted. Loans means that number of bacteria is so numerous that we got here just single layer of bacteria, of course, which is not countable. But as you see, dilution 100 million times, original sample gave us results. So one divided by 100 million times 100 million fold gave us results. We got 211 colonies, which means 211 bacteria, which each form small colony, which means that in order to find the concentration, original concentration, we have to multiply 211 by 100 million. So we are going to get 211 plus eight uh, zeros. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So what is the number? Let's take a look. So this is going to be 21 billion bacteria in original sample. But this is not our final answer because our question is calculate the CFU 
in cells per milliliter. How many cells per milliliter? And our original sample was 100 microliters. Take a look. 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliters. And also equals to 1 million of microliters. 1 milliliter is 1 thousandth of the liter. And 1 microliter is 1 millionth of the liter and 1 thousandth of milliliter. That means that 100 microliters, so 100 microliters equals to 0 0.1 milliliters. What we have found earlier is that this number of bacteria we can find in 100 microliters, which is 0 0.1 milliliter. In order to find how many we can find in milliliter, we have to multiply our answer by 10 or we just can add a zero here. Now let's find what this number is going to be. So take a look. This is going to be 211 billions. But usually we don't use such big numbers. Instead we convert them in scientific notation. Let's do it. Let's say we have a decimal point here. Let's move it to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in scientific notation, our answer is going to be two point eleven times ten power eleven bacteria cells per milliliter. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.